What's up, beautiful besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. I know it has been a minute. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to check in for the general messages, you know, for our tribe, whatever spirit feels like we need to know. Whatever we read on today, just know that it is general and it won't be meant for everybody. But hopefully, if you're here, uh, you will get a message that you're meant to hear at the moment. Okay, that's my intention, as always. Always a message for your greatest and highest good. I'm just going to ring the sound bowl. We'll call in spirit, and then we'll get the party started. <laughs> here we go. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Let's take a look at the overall general uh, energy around us at this moment. What is it? Here's fear. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, look, we're all human. We all get scared of things, scared of situations. You know, I'm reading this on the 1010 portal and the collective fear that has been, um, that has surfaced around so many events that are happening around the world. I am not surprised to see this energy coming up. Y'all sending all the prayers and all the good energy to folks after Milton, after Helene, like all the energy, all the things that are going on in the world right now. You know, we are in a really scary time. So um, there is fear around us all. And of course, I mean, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> the folks in, in the South here, I mean, I, I don't know. As a Canadian, I have to tell you, um, I was in LA. I have family in, in Florida. And I'm sure y'all have family all over uh, the South as well. Or you're connected to people or you're just scared of what has been happening. Um, things are kind of scary. I mean, even with like the elections, I'm not going to get political here, but it's scary time, uh, wars going on, things like that. So th the collective fear is palpable. I just have to say that we are all a little bit scared right now. Okay. Um, and uh, you know, without going too deep into it, spirit wants you to know that you are protected. You and your loved ones are safe and protected. Um, maybe there's something here about protecting your energy. <sighs> Um, doing what you can to protect your energy. Here we have blossoming. Okay, I just want to see a little bit more about that. I was a purity. Okay, um, look. It seems to be like there is some kind of... I feel very much that we are in the midst of this ginormous shift, this ginormous change. Um, not just us as humans here and, and spiritual beings on the planet at this time. I do feel the earth obviously is undergoing so many changes and things are happening. Um, and there is a lot of fear. Like I said, there's a lot of fear, of course, and it's natural. Um, we are blossoming. There's a new time. There's a new... Uh, timeline even that we are, we're all kind of making this shift right now. Things are changing and I, I won't pretend to know what's going to happen. And I won't, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, everyone, you know, everyone you care about is always, you know, going to be safe and protected. I, uh, we live in this reality. We have to keep ourselves grounded. Bad things happen to good people. Um, and it is scary when it is unknown right now I'm not sitting here making any kind of crazy doom and gloom predictions this is not what the reading's all about so please stick with me what I'm seeing is just a reassuring energy from spirit that there is this process that we're all going through on the microchasm so within us and also macro uh the world over of this purification kind of an energy going on knowing and feeling and tapping into any sort of protection um that you have maybe that's through prayer maybe that's through ritual maybe that's through whatever it is um using cleansing methods and protection and, and affirmations and things like that just know um that that, yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, put up your extra guards, put up your extra protections, put up, put down your extra prayers. Um, 
because yeah, I mean, like we're in for it. We're in for some kind of, we're in this really kind of scary time right now. Okay. So like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to put it out there that, you know, everything's going to be sunshine, rainbows and lollipops for everyone because we're all protected, but just know whoever you are tuning into this, you have some layer of protection around you um, and your loved ones at this time. Okay. So I, I don't know, like it's kind of tricky, right? It's a kind of tricky reading, but know that there is a, a bright future that is blossoming. There's something good coming out of all of this. Um, I don't even want to say all the destruction because yeah, I mean, I know I'm going to get flack for saying something like that because yeah, it is a really scary time that we're in. So I just want to acknowledge that, right? So uh, doing whatever you can, that's, I, I, I feel like that's probably the best way to say it. Doing whatever we can um, to tap into any kind of protections that we have and to protect yourself, protect your energy, uh, maybe even protect your home, protect your loved ones, protect, you know, whatever it is. Okay. Get into the energy that might help you alleviate some of the fears. So preparing yourself. Now, I don't want to say prepping yourself for the worst case scenarios, but it's always good to have protection. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to get the tarot and I want to see what this is really talking about because honestly, it, it's giving a vibe of, oh my gosh, it's such a freaking scary time we're living in. And even like for all of us with the economy and financially and all these other things that are going on right now, it is intense. It is really intense for everyone. And I feel like everyone's feeling it, right? Everyone's feeling it. I feel like tapping into your spirituality, um, it will alleviate some of the fears. I feel like that's probably in a nutshell what's what's coming because there is going to be something um, good coming through in the future and not so distant, but there's something good coming out of all of this. So let's see what the tarot is saying about this energy that we are currently in. Spirit, please um, give some kind of guidance or some kind of something, something. What is this all about? What are we reading all about, please? Judgment. Oh my gosh. I didn't I just heard judgment day. My goodness. Look, what else is underneath here? The king of wands. Okay. Hold on. King of cups and the three of swords. And that honestly did come up in the reverse. Whew. Nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the fool the emperor. Okay, folks, this is some very, very deep energy that we're reading on here. I got to be honest with you. When I see judgment, I don't always go to judgment day, but in the tarot, that is what it really truly represents. Like, uh, the second coming for those of you that are like into the biblical sense of, of the meaning judgment day, but really it, it is about, the seeds that you've sown, the life that you've lived, you know, what, what we reap, we shall sow, that kind of an energy. It's about awakening. Um, it could be even shifting timelines, all kinds of stuff that we already kind of talked about. Um, with the King of Wands here, you are very much tapped into your own spirituality. This is somebody who is very determined, very passionate, very um, connected to, let's just say, the undertones of what's happening. So um, you may have this deep understanding about the time that we're in right now. And that's why it seems very scary. We could be um, losing. Again, I don't want to sound all doom and gloom, but this is the vibe. Okay. We could be losing um, things that we love, places we love, things like that. Um, we could be losing um, people, friends, family members, things like that, um, who just are, who aren't I don't want to say that they're they're not worthy because that's not really the kind of judgment that I'm talking about. It's more of a judgment of like not everyone is going to shift timelines. You know what I mean? So the spiritualists have been talking about this for a very long time. Uh, the new earth, the shifting of the, the, the timelines and things like that, the splitting of the 3D and the 5D and all that kind of stuff. And this is the kind of this is the energy that we're kind of in right now. OK. This is kind of what, what's happening. So those of you who I, I guess I'm going to say have been um, doing the work or doing, oh, this is really difficult. This is really tricky reading. I got to be honest with you. Um, it just feels that those of you who already are in alignment um, will be kind of 
protected from a lot of the pain, the loss, the sorrow um, that is currently that a lot of people who are still kind of stuck in that 3D mode are going to be experiencing. All right. Um, again, I don't know if I'm even going to publish this because it's not I, I don't know who's doing what and what's going to happen to who like, you know what I mean? But what I know is people who have already been through awakenings are not going to feel a lot of the emotional stress and strife um, as as deeply as some people who haven't had their awakening yet. Now, those who are going to go through the hardest times at these moments are going to experience the awakening. Okay, they're going to, there's no other choice. Like, um, it's just, it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. They're going to go through a major awakening and a major shakeup. And, you know, it's part of their experience. Those of you who are here, those of you who are tuning into this reading, you aren't going to have to go through that is what I'm saying. Okay, and I kind of just want to leave it there. All I know is that you are actually aligning with, and, and, and again, this is not a, a negative message for those of you who are tuning in right now, um, who are on the same vibrational match. You have already gone through your own version of hell. I gotta just say that you've already gone through your own version of pain, suffering, awakenings, and the things that go along with um, a spiritual awakening. Okay, because it's not all love and light. It really isn't. It never is. <laughs> that is toxic positivity, as far as I'm concerned. We can have love and light. We can express that, but awakening is not easy, right? And it usually comes after a series of very unfortunate events or a lot of stress piled on to someone in their life, a lot of trauma. That is actually what accelerates spiritual awakening, unfortunately. All right, now, that being said, those of you who are tuned in here, you've already been there, done that, okay? So that's perhaps why Spirit's saying that you have protection. And so there really isn't a need for you to have or to focus on the fears, um, even though, like I said, it is a very scary time. Okay. But I will, there's no doubt about that, right? Um, just know that there is something going on here that is purifying the energy of the people on the planet. It's happening. It's a great purification right now. I know for some of you, I could sound like I'm like a nutcase or I'm talking crazy talk, um, but this is basically what is happening. All right. <laughs> now let's, let's move forward for you. Okay, you are in this position right now where it's actually this time for you is going to be actually very prosperous. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to profit off of people's pain and suffering. That's not what it is. It's that you already have been through a lot of this stuff. So you're going to come out as some type of leader in the situation. You were pretty much prepped and trained to be some type of leader. Now, whether that be spiritual community, whatever the case within your family, within your friend group, again, the people who are going through the suffering, right, currently going through their awakening currently, you've already been there, done that. So you're going to come out. Um, you're a leader. That's all I have to say. You are a leader. You are somebody here that is here to help calm, here to help guide, here to help people through these massive awakening moments and this massive trauma and craziness that's going on on the planet today. Okay. You are a pathfinder. You've already been there, done that. So just know that the shit that's going on right now around you or to your friends, to your family members, to the world over, whatever, it's not going to touch you. You are protected from that because your job is to help lead people out of the muck and the mire and the craziness and the drama and all the things, right? Trauma. I meant to say not drama, but drama too. Okay. Um, this is where you are in alignment. Okay. This is something that you were supposed to do. This is something, again, that you've been prepping for your whole life. Um, while things were going easy peasy for other people, you were already going through the massive awakenings and and the learning and the knowledge and everything because right now you're here to help guide. It's like, it feels like, I feel like we're called sometimes light workers, chosen ones, other names for it. Hold on a second. Name, whatever name you resonate with, whatever label you resonate with. Spirit is showing me this 
time or this placement, it's almost like I'm seeing a map, right? And it's like you are this beacon of light. There's all these beacons of light spread out all over the world. And each one of you has like a megaphone where you're guiding people. Um, you're like, okay, come over this way. This is what we do now. This is da, 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 da. like, this is what's happening. And it's like, you're here to guide people down a certain path, a spiritual path. Okay. That's who you are. So you are actually, <laughs> you are actually going to be okay. All right. Um, more than okay. You are going to, like I said, I'm not saying that you're going to profit all off of all of this, but you are going to remain pretty dang comfortable because of the work that you've already put in. This is going to be the next story in your life. This is an elevation for you. This is a, um, you've been like promoted into like a boss. Okay. You've been promoted into, um, someone who can, again, guide others into some type of leader. Okay. Um, this is a very specific message for some of you, um, mostly those of you who are here. Just know that you have protection and you are here to help guide others through this moment in time. You really truly have nothing to fear um, and you're here to help others raise their vibration so that they can get out of the energy and the vibration of fear as well. All right. Now, um, this again, like I said, this is a new beginning. This is going to feel a little bit different for you. Um, you may even have feelings of guilt around being okay at a time like this. Uh, but just know that you've already kind of, you've been there, done that in a sense. It might not be the exact same circumstances that others are going through currently at this time, but you are here to help guide people and you will be okay. You are protected. All right. Um, at this time. So you don't really have anything to fear. Sometimes it can feel scary to us as well. If we are kind of thrust into this position, if we were feeling a little bit uncomfortable, maybe some of us will have imposter syndrome, like why me? Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, that kind of a thing. Just know that your specific life experience that you've already lived up until this moment has prepared you for the work that you are going to be doing to help others at this time. All right. And so you will be thrust into this new era of being some type of leader. All right. Now I want to ask for, if there's any advice for those of you who are resonating with this message. Okay. Um, again, I'm just going to pop the emperor here because that's who you are. You have everything under control. Everything's good for you. All right. Um, Oof. And even if you feel like, I don't think so, uh, just know that spiritually, yeah, it is actually, things are okay for you, you know? Um, but anyways, all right, let's, is there any advice for, uh, those of, those of us here, the tribe, those of us in our tribe here who are going to be thrust into these leadership positions, whether or not they feel ready for it, <laughs> you know? Okay. What is this? What is the advice for those of you who are here? Um, yeah, stand up for your truth. You are a protector, your energy, um, your knowledge, your gifts, everything that you have is here to, uh, protect the people and stand up for what's true, what's right. Okay. So it's almost like you're being called to stand up and fight. It is warrior time, warrior mode that you're getting into. I see you, um, fighting for groups of people or using your words to get things done, like using your energy, using your powers, using whatever you have um, to really help protect and guard people who need it at this time, even if it's just energetically, you know, I mean, uh, this is pretty deep and I know it's not going to resonate with everybody and maybe even some people are going to think I'm talking crazy, but it's a channeled message, folks. It is what it is. We have the hangman for advice. The hangman is not the best. Well, I mean, it's okay. It is what it is. Yeah, see the tower. The tower is falling. Things are breaking down all around us, okay, at this moment. Again, I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom. There is a positive, like a silver lining, a positive undertone for this message. But just know um, that you're going to be all right. You're going to be okay um, and you know, with the hangman as advice, there's nothing that we can really do. It's kind of out of our control. All we have to do is go with the flow. 
um, and wait and observe and we will see the way forward. Okay, so there's not necessarily like a plan, a step by step plan that I can tell you uh, this is what's going to happen. This is when this is what you're going to do that kind of a thing. It's very much be the observer act when you feel called to act. Don't ignore your intuition. You will see the proper way or the right path forward on your own personal journey and just really remain open and in tune and be ready to stand up and fight. Okay. Uh, for the things that are true for you, your core beliefs, your core, um, your, your knowledge of what's right and true. Okay. And I, I I don't know if there's anything else here, Spirit, that you want the people to know. <laughs> what do you want the people to know? Anything else here? I'm going to I'm gonna cut this reading short, but it's very interesting. I'm reading it on the 1010 portal. I was likely going to publish it tomorrow, but maybe I'll push it out right away. Um, yeah, interesting. Knight of Wands. Spirit is asking you, Knight of Wands, we have Five of Swords, and we have well, the Lovers. It's a choice. Hold on with the Lovers, the Seven. I feel like Two of Swords. There is going to be, um, this is going to be a choice for you, okay? You can either heed the call and, and heed your path, your calling, your purpose. For some of you, this is part of your purpose um, to get into warrior mode. Uh, some of you will choose to um, ignore it or just not feel like you're ready. And and I'm not placing any judgment upon you. Um, Spirit saying this is a moment to act. Uh, you may have regrets if you don't. Um, but it's going to be a choice. This is your choice. You have free will if you don't feel you're up to it then that's, you know, it's choose your own adventure. If you're not ready for it, I totally understand. It's a, it's a lot of big work right now. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, but if you do passionately pursue it, um, you're going to be pretty busy and you're going to be, um, yeah, I want to say rewarded, but it's going to be a rewarding position for you to, to be in as far as like, um, soul satisfaction. Okay. This is what your soul kind of came to do at this moment in time. Okay. To be here, to help guide people, to hold their hands, to tell them it's going to be okay. And to guide them through this massive awakening and timeline shift. All right. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, take it or leave it. This is up to you. Um, if you don't resonate with it, then you know, don't take it to heart. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you're still here in the reading, it's probably because you do resonate with it. Uh, but just know that you are going to be protected and it's like you've been activated. It's like your job. It's like now, now's the time. Okay. It, it, uh, here's the activation. Here's the call. It's happening now. So if you feel called to aid or if you feel called to do something, anything, whatever is the most strongest in your heart right now, I suggest you go for it. Okay. That's all I'm going to give you. Um, <laughs> I will check in again tomorrow. This is pretty intense. I, my intention was to come and do like, you know, what's going on? Very lighthearted, but we're not really in that kind of a moment right now. Um, so take what you will from this and I will check in again with y'all tomorrow. Okay. Sending you all my love. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. She said she don't kill me. Fight to the car to die. She said she don't love me. Fight to the car that wasn't in the deck. The car my finger touched. Think I got my wish. You know, for sure, when it's all done, she said she was a beautiful way.